How is it going everyone? My name is Multihackerman and today guys I'll be teaching you how you can actually get more FPS in League of Legends. If you guys have problems with FPS in League, this video is for you guys. Search no more because this video will help you get way more FPS in League than you do right now. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like down below, it's highly appreciated. And uh, yeah, without further ado guys, let's get into it. So in order to get way more FPS in League, you have to change your graphics card settings. But if you have an AMD graphics card, please skip this step because I have an Nvidia graphics card and I don't know the settings for an AMD graphics card. So please make sure to skip this step if you have an AMD graphics card. But for the Nvidia users, just right click on your desktop, this will appear and just click on Nvidia control panel and you're set. After that, just click on manage 3D settings left in the corner and all you have to do is copy these settings I have right here and just slowly scroll down until here, until optimal power. Do not put this on prefer maximum performance because it will fuck with your GPU. You, all, it, all it does, it's, it's for the graphics card like 6 years old and uh, all it does, it, it runs the, it, it tries to run the game at maximum performance because the card is dying. So do not put any, anything on prefer maximum performance because it will fuck up your PC. But if you have a low end PC, put this on prefer maximum performance and try optimal power as well. You can play with these settings and see how it goes. But uh, if you have way more, way more trouble than the preferred maximum performance thing, if you have, if you have the same FPS with this and uh, you, you're still struggling right now with the FPS, make sure to set the anti-swapping filtering, not the 16, try to, try to put it like 8, 4 or 2 or application control, do not turn it off because it will fuck up your game. Going on into the second step, all you have to do in order to get this done, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a site ca called Coder Bag. Click that link in the description and you'll be greeted by this site. It, it's actually uh, the program Quick CPU that we are going to use in this video, guys. This actually makes your CPU way faster. It makes all your CPU course actually work not not like a hibernate or something like this so this program will do this for you all you have to do uh, actually scroll down and uh, there will be a download program right here and just download the 64 bit or 32 bit depends in depending on your computer so uh, yeah just download it it's a simple installation and after that all you have to do you just open it and this will be the program all you have to do make sure all the core packing index turbo boost index and free frequency scaling index are to 100 percent because this is what will give you like maximum performance so after that just click apply and as you can see changes successfully applied all you have to do is to actually close this program and uh, you can actually check it time to time to see if actually your core parking and frequency and turbo boost are actually to 100% still. And uh, yeah, this is the, the second step. Let's go to the third one. So the third step that we are going to use to actually get more FPS in League is to download another program from the link down below in the description. There are two links. Make sure to download the second one right now. It's called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. And what this does, it actually clears all your RAM, all, all your used RAM and uh, actually clears it up as you're playing. So if you have like problems with freezing and everything like that, uh, you're just you're, you're just going not to have like freezes and everything so all you have to do in order to get this is just as i said click the link down below in the description and there will be an official download here the program is going to be installed as the previous one so simple installation i think all of you guys know how to install that if you actually know how to install league so after that you'll be greeted by this after you extract and everything so uh, actually open the program itself and as you can see right now all this does it's it's your memory or your ram and everything like that so basically what you're going to do is to actually see what value you have in here on total system memory i have 32 gigs of ram so i'll put half of that in, into this free memory is lower than so actually i'm going to purge standby list every time it, it actually goes to 16 gigs of ram usage and it will purge everything down as you can see if i click purge standby list it will clear all the RAM that I'm uh, that is working for for nothing right now. But to set it up, all you have to do is to actually 
put the wanted timer resolution to 0.50 and enable custom timer resolution and after that if you have a high-end PC because because this actually works on high-end PC to low-end PCs if you have a high-end PC like mine put it on 500 but if you have a medium to low-end PC put it to 1000 see how it goes never put it to 500 because it will fuck up your RAM so badly just leave it to 1000 and you're good to go and after that just uh, click start right here and uh, you're good to go okay guys so after we've downloaded two programs from the internet and we actually managed to get our graphics card settings our cpu settings and our memory settings all you have to do is to actually manage the windows things so how we're going to do is you actually go to your desktop right click on your taskbar and make sure to open task manager after that just click on startup and all these set all the settings here all these programs call them however you want they, they are going to start up with our, with your windows as you can see i have most of them disabled as you can see here but some of them are enabled and we are going to actually disable the one that we don't need when the pc starts up so for example i have razor signups i don't really need Ra razor signups when i load out my pc it does nothing for me so but it has a startup impact high so we're just going to right click it disable it I don't know what programs you guys have under here, but make sure not to disable Vengra, try notification, your antivirus and uh, stuff like that. But besides that, just disable everything. I, like, for example, you can take my example. I have Spotify, Discord, everything is, is closed. I don't need them to open up when my PC wakes up. So that's that. Make sure to disable all the programs that you don't need in here. It will make your PC way more faster, not just in games, way more faster overall. Okay, guys, moving on. We have our fifth step. We are halfway through it, guys. Please bear through with me. And uh, yeah, the, the fifth step, we are going to actually search if you don't know how to search it's windows and s it, it's a button on your keyboard between control and alt so click that and s at the same time and this will pop up and all you have to type in here is ms config after you've done that this will pop up and make sure you you click on the boot tab and on the timeout seconds you'll have like this 30 just make sure you delete zero and you have three seconds here after that make sure you go to advanced options make sure this number of processor is ticked go to, to the maximum you have you can have way more than eight you can have like 12 16 you, you can have whatever whatever this maximum number is make sure this is set guys after that just click ok click apply and we are going to services guys we are just going to hide all microsoft services and uh, what what this does it's actually like our uh, our uh, last step but it's way more advanced because in task manager you can see so much of how many applications start up and how many not so all you have to do is to actually uh, disable all the unwanted programs from here because they start up as well with your windows there are actually services that are running in the background right now and you don't really need it for example I don't need Corsair Gaming Audio Configuration, Corsair LA Service, I don't need these things. So just disable all the things that you don't need, but do not disable your NVIDIA settings, your, uh, I don't know, VZC, which is a Vanguard High Notification. So do not disable the programs that you need. Just disable, like, for example, Adobe Genius, Adobe Update, uh, Google Chrome Updates and things like that. So besides that, do not fuck with everything. Moving on guys, this step will be easy for everyone. All you have to do is to actually press again Windows and S. So you're going to search for something. Make sure you type percent temp percent and after that just click enter and this thing will pop up. All you have to do in this thing is just control A, delete everything and it will delete a bunch of files but not all of them will be deleted the 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 files that are not deleted for me these ones are the files that i actually need in my pc right now and they can be deleted so uh, do this for all current items and skip and after that you'll just be left with all the files that you actually need not the temporary shit that you don't need okay guys moving on we are going to actually search for something again so click windows and s again so type just power and edit your power plan after that just go to power options right here on the top and you will be greeted by this screen choose or customize your power plan if you have a laptop guys do not do this if you have a laptop make sure it's on balance all the time 
may do not put this on high performance but the, if you don't see the high performance here by the way it will be like here show additional plans and there it is high performance but if you have a laptop don't do this make sure it's on balance if you have a laptop if you have a desktop pc make sure it's on high performance it will boost your your fps like hell dude because this actually fucks up with your cpu and it, it does it does a lot for you guys so make sure you, you put it on high performance moving on guys what we are going to do now is we are going to go into the desktop again we are going to go to the start button right right on the left side corner and we are just gonna click on it go to the settings tab and you'll be greeted by this screen again so after this you'll just go to game settings make sure your xbox game bar is disabled guys this affects your fps like hell it makes it makes no sense to have this on it's for recordings and stuff like that but no one ever uses it guys because it's so trash and fucks up with your fps so badly that no one uses it so make sure you turn this off and uh after this go to the graphic settings on the on the on the on the right side and if you have a, a medium to a high end pc you should have this hardware accelerated gpu scheduling make sure you you enable this because if you enable this it will make your game way more smoother guys it will actually force the gpu to run more power on it but it will not fuck up like the nvidia settings if you put if you put it on maximum performance so make sure if you have this setting make sure to enable it make sure to to have it on because it helps you a lot guys moving on we are going to go back to this to these uh, settings we're going to go to captures see if you have anything here if you have anything here like uh, this is checked make sure to disable everything in here guys it's it, you don't have any idea how much fps you gain from these guys and make sure to go into game mode again and when the game mode is on windows optimizes your pc for play this is trash guys if you have uh, like a very 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 bad pc for games like you have league in 30 40 frames make sure this is on but if you have like over i don't know 80 to 60 to 80 fps make sure this is disabled because you'll gain fps actually this is this is so bad from microsoft so make sure you disable this if you have a decent gaming pc but if you don't make sure you actually have this on one of our last steps guys is actually an advanced resolution for league of legends so if you have a really bad pc guys or uh, i don't know you want more fps like you're hungry for fps you you can do this it will improve the most in league so all you have to do is actually click on this and uh, go to file explorer make sure you go into this pc make sure to actually target where you have installed the league of legends mine is under c right games and uh, league of legends config and after that just game make sure you open it with notepad always use uh, this app to open cfg files and uh, after that just click ok and you'll have this notepad right here it might not look the same as mine because we have different settings but all you have to do in order to get way more fps just for example you have all these resolutions on the right side of the screen you, you can actually use that to gain more fps but for now if you are if you want to have like maximum performance but the game will look actually pretty shitty pretty shitty but you'll have over like i don't know 60 fps if you have like 30 now so it, it's a great improvement for bad pcs for uh, actually medium end pcs just this is how you actually customize a, a resolution in a league because you can do that like anywhere else so make sure if you have a really bad pc to put this to 800 and this height to 600 so this this is how your game is going to look it's, it's going to be like going to be a square basically so you're going to play with these settings see if this works for you search for other resolutions guys but 800 with 600 is the minimum that league actually can be played with so this is the minimum resolution you can play league on if you actually put this on no matter what pc you have the game will look shitty though do, do have that in mind the game will will look shitty but uh, you'll have the most fps no matter what if you just want to get rid of this setting in game or something like that just change your resolution in game and you're set but if you want to have like maximum performance you want to you want that juice make sure you have this this on and uh, you're good to go moving on to the last step and uh, let's see what we're going to do guys 
Okay guys, so our last step, it will be the game settings. All you have to do is into the game, boot up the game, go into the practice tool, create a custom game, whatever you want. Under the resolution, make sure if you did the last step, make sure not to fuck up with, with these settings. But if you didn't and you still want to have more FPS, make sure to actually test all the settings in here, see what, what goes best, best for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's basically it on the resolution tab. And uh, on the windowed mode, never have this on windowed or borderless because you lose like 20 to 30 frames. So I always have it on full screen. If you if you have a really really bad PC, guys, you should actually hide eye candy because it fucks up your game as well. And uh, disable the world team accents. This actually uh, messes up with your FPS like uh, three four FPS. So it, it counts if you have like 60 FPS and it drops down to like I don't know 50 to 40. It actually counts so make sure you disable both of these by checking them moving on to the graphic settings all you have to do here you have to play with these settings because I don't know what piece you have guys so make sure you play with these settings how I play the game is actually like this or actually like this no shadows these are my settings when I play a league but they actually give way more FPS than you think guys and uh, yeah if you have to have this character inking character inking is like this this uh, black thing around gragas i don't know how to say it it's an outline but uh, yeah if you if you uncheck this it you're, you'll gain like five fps maximum if if you disable this so make sure you disable this try all the settings in games guys because i can't really tell what piece you have and i don't really know how to tell you which settings to choose and uh, yeah basically this is the the standard settings which I'm going to play on and if you want to copy this as well make sure you do so but uh, yeah accessibility uh, this these settings are not going to actually fuck up with your game so you can have like color level maximum so the game looks really saturated and nice and uh, yeah the next one we are going to choose the the next thing we are going to do is actually talk about anti-aliasing and the wait for vertical sync the anti-aliasing as i said do not turn it on if you have the 16 times on on your graphics card do not turn this on it will fuck up so bad with your game and uh, the vertical sync never turn this on uh, except if you're on a laptop maybe on a laptop it will help you you can test this out but uh, on a desktop pc this one will never help you guys do not jet check this thing because it will fuck up your your fps and if you have it checked make sure to uncheck it and you'll gain like i don't know 50 fps 40 fps minimum so uh, yeah after that just going to the sound and i don't know if you guys know this old trick but if you disable our sound it, it might improve performance when i had a really bad pc back in the day i actually never played with sound because it did so great of a job like maintaining my fps high when when i have when i had a bad pc because sound actually makes your game stutter sometimes because they you, you actually get playback from something you know so if you have a really really bad pc make sure to disable all sound it, it will help you it, it, as it says here disabling all sounds may improve performance it will it, it it's not may it, it will for 100 percent if you have a real bad pc so yeah guys this is my video for you guys to actually gain more fps in link tell me what you think down below if you have any further questions make sure to leave them in the comments down below i hope this video helped you guys a little bit if not more i hope it does more for you guys and uh, yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video if you didn't like this video please make sure to do so it will help me out a lot and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video see you guys A hop if you wanna just pass to my leverage The evidence, as they say, is in the pudding So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding It ain't fool's gold, it's gold, fool Can't stop, won't stop keeping it old school